Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have four adorable Christmas gnome DIYs for you using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. This first one, I'm going to use one of these little tinsel trees from the Dollar Tree. And we're simply going to remove all the tinsel on there. I find it easier just to use scissors to cut it all off. Now I want to make a gnome and I'm gonna use a rope for the beard and a Santa hat from the Dollar Tree for the hat. Now, as you can see, the Santa hat is a little large, but we're gonna make it work with this Christmas tree form. So this is the rope we're going to use. It is the white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. It's the 11 foot and one package is plenty to make this. Just going to get the rope started. And then what I'm going to do is measure a piece long enough to go to the first section. I'm going to attach it to that first uh, plastic ring there and have it dangle down. And so I just need to cut one that length and then use that as a template to cut out all the rest. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the entire 11 foot rope and it worked out perfectly. I had like maybe a few left over. Now we just need to attach the rope to the reef or to the tree form. I don't know why I want to call it a wreath. Um, and I'm just going to use hot glue to attach it to that first ring right there. So I'm going to start here with the first piece and kind of show you what I mean. I'm just going to do a little bit of hot glue there and glue this to it. This nautical rope worked pretty well to adhere to it. Just letting the rest of it dangle down. Once we get them all glued on, then we can unwind that. It's going to give us a perfect curly white beard for our little gnome. Christmas cake, and then we go skating on the frozen lake, saying hi to every friendly face, and later we warm up by the fireplace.
stuck them all on there. It was pretty sturdy, but to, I'm going to reinforce it just a little bit with just some twine and some hot glue um, just to kind of glue it together. This is not going to be visible. It'll be covered up from the hat. All we have to do is unwind the rope and when you unwind it it comes into three little curly ropes like that i think that's going to make the perfect santa beard Now, the hat's a little large, but we're going to probably size that down a little bit. But this is what it looks like at this point. Now, for a nose, I thought I would use one of these wood beads. I get these on Amazon. They'll be linked in my shop below. And I'm just going to kind of stain that with some Antique Wax by Waverly really quick. Um, to give it that rustic feel, that's going to go great with that Santa hat. I love the Santa hat. It's got some really pretty fur on there. And I just go over with a thin coat, wipe off the excess with a paper towel, and we have a little stained nose. If you don't have a wood bead this size, you can use a Christmas ornament or a knob, whatever you've got. Then I'm just going to take some twine and string that through the wood bead. And then I'm going to use that string to tie it on to that same row that we just glued the rope to to create a little gnome nose with like the holes in the um, ball going up and down so you can't really see them. Now for the hat. This is really cute. It's uh, like a feels like plaid and um, I love the fur on there. It's so pretty. It's just a matter of sizing this down a little bit to make it fit our little Santa gnome. So I'm kind of trying it on, seeing if I can make it fit. I think I'm just going to have to cut the seam down a little bit. I don't want to have to sew it or anything like that. So I'm just going to try to make it smaller with some hot glue. I was worried that that fur would kind of get in the way though. So I am going to cut some of the material away here um, just to get that out of the way. And then we can um, glue it together. Now we're just going to turn this inside out and then we can re-glue that seam. I'm just going to use some regular hot glue to do that um, just on the inside here, front to front, and glue that all the way down. And then I also need to glue the liner down because there's a red liner on both sides as well. Just turn it back inside out and we just have a little bit smaller hat perfect for a gnome so we're just going to go ahead and try this on now to attach it i'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to go around the top of the rope here for our beard and glue on the front. 
The fur part is still a little bit large, so we're gonna have to taper that a little bit more to make that fit good, but otherwise the hat is a pretty good size here. Now to gather that together a little bit there, I'm just gonna cut a slit and then glue the fur down and then glue the fur to itself just to make that look a little bit better. And there's our adorable little gnome. Isn't he cute? I think he's so fun. I love the fur on his hat. And if you wanted your gnome hat to like go straight up. You could always like fill it with some polyfill or pillow fluff. I kind of want my Santa hat to be a little bit floppy. And this is the final reveal of our first little Santa gnome. Isn't it cute? I love him. Yeah. Jingle bell of sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out the rain, these are falling down. Hey guys, I have a private Facebook group. I'll post a link below. I would love to see you over there. You'll love seeing what all the crafty beach bums are working on. And I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube, and I would love to see you over there. Okay, you ready for another a gnome DIY? We're gonna Again, use one of these little tinsel trees from the Dollar Tree. This one, I'm gonna make it a Christmas tree gnome, um, but I also wanna make it a reindeer or a Rudolph gnome. So I kind of combined two things together and I love how it turned out. So I hope you do too. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all that messy tinsel off of the tree. Now for this one, I thought I wanted to try something different for the beard. So this time we're gonna use that brown rope from the Dollar Tree. And this is the eight foot rope. So it's a little shorter. So we're gonna need more than one package um, to be able to go all the way around. But basically we're gonna make the beard the same way as we did the other one. This rope is a little bit skinnier and a little bit more wiry. Um, a little bit harder to work with, but I like it. it turned out a little bit different than the first one. So again, I just cut one to size and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this package out with little strips of rope. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the single bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. All right, it's time to start putting this together. We're going to just glue it on to that first um, row of plastic there, like we did on the first one. If you can't find the little tinsel trees, you could do this with the birthday party hats from the Dollar Tree, but it's gonna be larger. It is a larger cone. But basically I wanna do the same thing. I'm gonna go all the way around with these and then unwind them into little curly ropes as well. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. Now one package was not enough, so I did need to have uh, cut out a few more and just glue those on. Now this wasn't quite as sturdy as the white rope, and so I'm gonna use another piece of rope and hot glue to glue that down to try to make this really attached. And I don't want any of this rope going anywhere. Outside, it tingles in my heart. Breathing air that 
that clears my mind I'm all for a good start I hear those jingle bells People singing about love all right, now it's time to start unwinding. Um, this one and the first one, after you unwind it, you could comb it to get it into the individual strings if you'd like. I really liked the curly look of the beard. I think that looks really fun for a gnome and for Santa. The time is here again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh that gives me joy that everyone's having a now we need a nose and I thought one of these little red Christmas ornaments from the Dollar Tree would be perfect I want to do like a Rudolph theme on this Christmas tree gnome and so I think that's going to make the perfect nose I'm just going to take one of those ornaments and glue it on um, before I go ahead and do the top of the hat and I'm just going to go ahead into that seam area where the two ropes came to come together right here and just glue our little nose on. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. Now let's start with the Christmas tree. I'm going to use some of this garland from the Dollar Tree. One package is plenty. And we're going to wrap the gnome hat with the garland. It's going to make it look like a Christmas tree. This was so easy and it turned out so cute. So it's kind of wiry, so you can kind of just wire that to the cage itself to get it started. I also use a little hot glue to get it started around that piece of rope first and then basically wrap it all the way up. You don't need any glue or anything. Okay, now it's time for antlers. I'm going to use this headband that I got at the Dollar Tree. I really like the size of antlers on this. I just need to remove them from the headband because the headband is just too big. So I'm just going to use my heat gun to melt the hot glue and kind of try to pull those off. Um, they also have like the actual headbands that have like a buffalo check pair that are a little bit bigger. If you can't find either, you could always make your own antlers pretty easily out of some brown felt. That's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time. Okay, now it's time to attach these. I just want these to be like, I'm going to do like a brim of the hat area there. Kind of tuck these away in there like little antlers sticking up for a reindeer. I think this is going to give this gnome a lot of personality. Just going to glue it on with a few dots of hot glue. Now, I was trying to find something to go around for the brim of the hat, and I couldn't really find anything that I liked. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep using that garland that we were using before and do a couple rows of that to kind of 
um, sandwich those antlers on and to cover up all of the rope and expose parts there of how we put together the gnome. Now, after I put this on, I thought about it. I do have some of that faux leather from the Dollar Tree. That would have been really cute as well. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. Now that we have a Christmas tree, all we need to do is decorate it a little bit. I didn't want to go too crazy. I'm not going to do ornaments or anything, but I did do want to do a garland. And I found this little Jingle Bell garland from the Dollar Tree. It is like a brown wire with little silver Jingle Bells all over. And I thought this would be the perfect garland. I'm just going to simply wrap that around our Christmas tree. small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh it gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear the single bells people singing about love it feels like I'm a kid like I'm forever young and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way now I thought he needed a tree topper, but I didn't want anything too large. So I'm gonna use one of these little wood stars from the Dollar Tree, and we're simply gonna stain that with a little antique wax by Waverly uh, to give it that rustic feel. And it's so lightweight, I could just attach this to the top of the tree with a little bit of hot glue. It's the time of year, winter wonderland. <laughs> My winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. Now, I did think his nose was a little shiny for the rustic vibe I had going on. So I am going to go over that with just a little bit of matte Mod Podge just to tone the little Rudolph nose down a little bit. But I love that it's still nice and bright red. Now I want to light up our Christmas tree. I'm going to use some battery operated lights from the Dollar Tree. These are like the brass wire LED lights with the little white lights. And I just put some batteries in here. And I can just stow the little battery pack inside the tree. I'm just going to kind of go in through the back, through the beard. And then that way I can still turn them on and off. And I have a place to store this. And then I'm just going to simply wrap those lights around the tree. They are the perfect size for a tree this size. And he is complete. What do you guys think about our little reindeer Christmas tree now? I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Okay, are you ready for another adorable Christmas gnome? Check out these little boots. They're little ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use those. One of these red and gold sequin 
Santa hats from the Dollar Tree, and a couple of those little white Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. I saw this on a blog and I knew I had to make it. It was so cute. I will post a link to the blog below and you're going to love this DIY. The only thing I needed was the boots and I went out and I was lucky enough to find some. Actually, I bought like five pair because I thought they'd be cute for like making a gnome feet for any season. So I'm not going to need the stands on these little Christmas trees, but hey, I always need stands for things. So I'm going to go ahead and just save those for later. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow now these boots are so cute. The little branches of the tree are going to act as the beard gnome, but they're also going to act as legs. And I, this blog, it was this was her idea of how she put hers together, and I think it was so creative. So I'm just going to fluff up all of the branches here to make a nice full beard for our gnome. And then when I get to the bottom because uh, they're going to be kind of upside down, so I guess the top. Um, I'm going to kind of bend those all in one direction and kind of create like a little a fake foot. And I kind of have to bend that longer piece in half to kind of make it fit in there. And that way the shoe will fit on the nose. So check this out. The little boots just slide right onto our little tree foot. And they actually make this little guy stand up perfectly. I couldn't believe how easy this was to put together. Okay, now I just have to put this guy together. So to do that, I'm just going to use some floral foam from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to stab the little trees down in there like two little legs. Kind of pulling them all the way through the foam. And can you see? He's kind of coming together a little bit. Now he's going to need a nose and a Santa hat. The Santa hat is a little bit too big, almost fits. If you did a third tree in there, it would probably fit for sure, but I thought that might be a little much. Now this is like a really glitzy glam hat. It's really pretty though. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. And I've gotten you Trying to figure out how I can downsize this. It's not quite as thick, so I don't think I need to remove any fabric. I'm just going to turn this inside out. And we're going to glue the seams over on each side with just some hot glue, just to make the hat a little bit skinnier so it'll fit better on our little gnome. On its way, but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself. In a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated every Now that we have that on there, we can turn it back inside out. I probably should let it dry a little bit longer, but I was being impatient. So I do have to kind of reinforce that with a little bit more hot glue once I get it turned right side out. But the difference this time is that ever since July, I've been 
Okay, now to put this little guy together, we're just going to put the floral foam piece up into the Santa hat. Now, I did think that the the like brim of the hat was a little floppy and too wide. So I do kind of bunch that up and like kind of glue it onto itself and kind of, um, you'll see here, just fold it up on itself like that just to make it skinnier. And I think that made it fit a little bit better as well. And I just attached that with hot glue. I'd like to thank you so much for watching today's video. You'll have to vote for your favorite gnome below when you're done watching this video. And don't forget to like, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 11,000 subscribers and about half of you guys are not subscribed. So I got both, I did the same thing here on the back that I did as the front. It just kind of tidied the hat up and made it a little bit smaller as well. And it's gonna fit nicely on here now. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. Now for a nose, I thought one of the gold Christmas ornaments would be really pretty. Um, since I've already got a lot of red going on, and we do have the gold sequence on the hat. It's like very red and gold. And so I thought this would go well. This is a little bit larger bulb than um, the red ones, but these are also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna glue that up, peeking out from underneath the hat like a little gnome nose. I also glue it down to the tree a little bit as well, just using some hot glue. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. Now he's looking really cute. He stands up really well. The only thing was I love the boots, but I thought they needed a little bling. I've got gold on the hat. I've got a gold nose. So I thought we could bring in some gold to his boots as well. So I'm just going to replace the little pom-poms on his boots with some of these little gold jingle bells from the Dollar Tree. And I didn't have much rope left to work with, so I just attached them with hot glue. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Now, if you're not lucky enough to find these adorable boots at the Dollar Tree, you could also make this into a, an easy wall hanging as well. Or you could put it like maybe into a pot or something like that. Look how cute it is. I love him and I think he needs a name. What do you guys think his name should be? Comment below. With you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and hey guys, did you know I have a second YouTube channel now? It's called Crafty Little Beach and it's all my DIYs in under a minute. The little YouTube short. So come join me over there. I'll post a link below. Okay, you ready for another DIY? This one is going to be a, I'm going to make a gnome, another kind of Christmas tree gnome, but this time using one of these hanging uh, tinsel Santa hats from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove all that tinsel. And we're going to make this one look like a Christmas tree as well. 
But this is going to be a hanging, a, like a kind of a wreath for my front door. I'm going to remove all of the tinsel, even the tinsel here at the bottom. I just find the easiest way is to cut it off with scissors. Now for this one, I'm going to use this garland from the Dollar Tree um, to make this look like a Christmas tree as well. It's going to kind of look like a Christmas tree, like leaning off to the sides. Now I want to cut all of the little, little pegs that are sticking out of the bottom of this just because I thought they might be in the way for the next step. But I'm going to use that bottom row of uh, this reform and a mop head and we're going to make a gnome beard out of the mop head. So I am just gonna go ahead and open this up. I find the easiest way um, to take these apart is just to start tugging on them and they will come right out. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull them all out. We're gonna use almost the entire mop head to make the beard for this door hanging. that I can come home to yes I am on my way we'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness we come together to celebrate okay now to attach it I'm just gonna string it through and pull it halfway and just tie it off in one knot and let it dangle down and I'm gonna do that all along the bottom. I'm gonna fill in every section. I found that about six, I tried five here at first, but six really felt fit it in better, made it nice and tight and full. To do a second row. I only have enough left to do four in each section on this one, but it's going to provide a little bit more fullness, I think, for the beard, and it's going to provide like a different length as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do four in each section. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Now you could leave it stringy like this. It's really cute with the beard. I do unwind all those later and made it really full. So you'll see that at the final step. Now we can start working on the Christmas tree. So I'm just gonna take some more of this garland from the Dollar Tree and we are gonna wrap this around our Christmas tree. Super easy. Just start it with one and Keep wrapping. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs. Since this was a lot bigger, one was not enough, so I did have to use two packages to cover this Christmas tree hat. Now 
Now you could have just, you know, went around it and used the hooks on the side and only covered the front. I wanted this to be a really big, heavy piece for my front door. So that's why I went all the way around it with the garland. Now for the brim of the hat, I'm gonna use some of this red velvet ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I thought that was nice and bright. It's gonna kind of be the brim of the hat. It's also gonna kind of be like a tree skirt. You can kind of use whatever you have for this. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of ribbon to go all the way around the brim of the hat and just attach it with some hot glue. For the nose on this, we're gonna use this little gold Christmas ornament and I'm just gonna kinda of glue it underneath that ribbon and kind of a little bit to the rope there. I don't wanna glue it too much to those cause I am gonna unwind all those. Now we wanna decorate our Christmas tree. I'm gonna use some of these battery operated lights from the Dollar Tree. These are the big chunky multicolored ones. I thought these would be fun and bright and festive for the front door. And we can decorate the front of the tree with those. Now I kind of want to have all the lights on the front of the tree and not on the back. And so I'm just going to kind of go back and forth on these to kind of make it look like it's wrapped around, but um, it's not really. And I'm just going to use some of those little tiny black zip ties from the Dollar Tree to attach them to the sides of the wreath form. I can just tuck the little battery pack here in the back so that I can reach that easily to be able to turn the lights on and off. I think these are really pretty and they are really bright. They really light up my front door. Now I wanna keep decorating this tree. I thought ornaments. Now I thought about these little tiny red ornaments from the Dollar Tree. This is kind of how it would look with the red ornaments. I did decide to take it up a notch and upgrade those ornaments because it is gonna be on my front door. So I found these little glass ornaments at the Target dollar spot. They're very classic Christmas looking and very cute. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than the ones from the Dollar Tree, but I love how they turned out. But you can kind of see how it would look here with the red ones. 
but I do end up using the glass ones and I just tie them on with the strings that came with them. And it was $5 for a package of nine from the Target dollar spot. Yes, I am on my way. Now he's really cute, but I really thought he needed a tree topper, so I'm going to make one. I'm going to use one of these little galvanized metal stars from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to add some bling to this. So I have some of these little red gemstone stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to outline the galvanized metal star with those. I'm going to leave it metal color and just add a splash of color with these red gems. And then I'm going to use one of the little gold glittery wood stars from the Dollar Tree in the middle just to bring in some gold. And this is how it turned out. Nice and lightweight. It's going to be easy to attach to the top of the Christmas tree. I'm just going to attach it there um, over to the side because it's kind of like a, a bent tree um, with just some hot glue. And I think that's going to be the final decoration on the tree part of our gnome here. I'm just going to glue that on and then I'm going to make a new hanger. I'm just going to use some twine to tie a hanger onto the top. This is how it looks at this point. You could totally leave it like this. I wanted my beard to be like really fat and full though. So I'm just going to unwind all of the mop head fibers. These come down into four pieces, not three. But it made it really big and full. And I think it's going to look so great for Christmas. So I'm just going to simply unwind every single one of these. This was probably the most time consuming part of the project. It took me about 20 minutes to unwind all of these mop head fibers. Think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our
in all of his glory. I think he turned out so cute. And I just love how bright he is for Christmas. And he's perfect for the front door. A perfect size. What do you think? Hey, I wanted to give a huge thank you to the following Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks, super chats, for buying me a coffee, for sending me money on my cash app. You guys are the best and you really help support this channel. Being a small channel on YouTube is tricky, um, but you guys really help along the way. So I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of you. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to vote for your favorite gnome DIY below. And if you want more Crafty Beach YouTube thanks, you might enjoy this video right here.